we are at a point where most of the automatic qualifiers have determined themselves. And that's, I think we're going to start this thing off, dude. There's a, a lot less uncertainty in D3 football this week, huh? Yeah. No, there's some huge games this week. I'm excited to talk about them. There are. We'll definitely get to that. Let's start with every D3 team in the playoffs as of right now. And that's determining as, uh, you know, you win your conference. Obviously, you get the automatic bid into the tournament. Starting with Randolph Macon, who for the third time consecutively, the three years in a row, they have clinched and are into the playoffs. Northwestern, a team that I do believe is their first time in their program's history clinching the bid going into the playoffs. And then you go to North Central, who's no stranger to this type of stage. John Hopkins, very much in the same boat there. Susquehanna, who has played some really competitive football, gave Cortland a scare earlier on in the season, was the only team to beat them last year. Endicott team, the goals, we've seen them play a really strong out-of-conference schedule. They are in UMass Dartmouth, a team that I think on this show, maybe we need to start talking about a little bit more. They've got an offense over there and a, a quarterback that have been playing pretty lights out. And then you go down to Lake Forest, who's had some really good defensive battles and some big pieces on that side of the ball. They've clinched an automatic bid. Also, Wartburg back in the national scene, no surprise there. Cortland, who we had Zach Boys on the episode earlier talking about the Red Dragons. Hobart is in as well. And continue to go down the Spartans from Aurora and Illinois back in the dance Maryville, the Scots, again, a team that I don't think we've talked about maybe too much on this show, and Harden-Simmons, we'll talk about them later on in, in this episode. Another big win over UMHB this past week. Hope out of the MIAA, not Alma this year. The, a uh, Dutchman, I do believe, take the conference. And then Salisbury, who is the new number one in terms of NPI. Did you see that? I did, yeah. Big time for the goals. And finally, Kings College, we talked about last week with their big win over Delaware Valley. They take the MAC Conference, and with that, the automatic bid into the playoffs. Last but not least, the Purple Raiders from Mount Union. We'll talk about them as well, getting the job done no against there. Marietta. But, uh, yeah, I think a lot of these, not any big, crazy surprises. Um, Hope getting into it and taking out Alma, I, I don't think was on our bingo card at the start of the season. Anything else jump out to you about these uh, 18 squads? Uh, I mean, not, not necessarily. I mean, that was obviously surprised, you know, seeing uh, – oh, jeez. Who was I blinking out on? There was one team we just talked about how they, they had gotten in like three years in a row. And, Randolph? Uh, but, yeah, uh, no, not Randolph making Someone missed – yeah, Alma. That was obviously – Okay. Yeah. But that was the one I was thinking of.